गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स हैम्स एंड शॉर्ट वेव लिस्नर्स इट गिवस मी इमेंस प्लेजर टू वेलकम यू ऑल एंड इंट्रोड्यूस आवर ओल्ड टाइमर त्यागु व्यू टू पी टी आर एंड टूडे सब्जेक्ट इज लीनियर पावर सप्लाई मार्च वुड पावर सप्लाई फ्रेंड्स यू ऑल रिमेंबर वेन वी स्टार्टेड हैम रेडियो लीनियर पावर सप्लाई वॉज मोस्ट पॉप्युलर एंड रिलायबल दो इन 1980 एटी दी एस एम पी एस स्टार्टेड अपियरिंग एंड फर्स्ट एस एम पी एस आई सॉ वॉज इन एफ टी सेवन फाइव सेवन यासू एंड इट वॉज सो लाइट वेट वी वेर वंडरिंग हाउ इट कैन डिलीवर ट्वेंटी फाइव टू थर्टी एम्स बट लेटर ऑन दे गेन लॉट ऑफ पॉप्युलरिटी दो देर आर डिसएडवांटेजेस प्रोफेसर भटनागर कैन एग्री लॉट ऑफ नॉइज एंड अदर थिंग्स do come because of this people try to reduce all that but unfortunately uh, they could not 100% successful in doing so and linear power supply they are still popular in ham radio it gives me immense pleasure to introduce tyagu he did his engineering from anna university and uh, in man- and uh, in instrumentation and management course Sorry for interrupting. He started career with Sri Ram Chemicals, then moved to Spic, and so many journeys you have seen in uh, his introduction, which I have given. But he is a avid home brewer, supports ham activity across the country, and lot of hams, rather buying from him the cost-effective gizmos like SWR meter, name it LCR meter. and this is not the first time he is giving presentation in for pune hams he has done it several times in the past so without spending much time i will request tyagu to start his presentation on marchwood linear power supply over to old man tyagu ah uh, vilas ji uh, there are only three participants yourself myself and only patnagar shall we wait for some time some people to join at least uh, some seven eight people i think uh, even i raise my hand to tell you that you can wait for some time because uh, only three of us are there vilas ji so oh, please go ahead because recording will be most popular lot of people i received mails they want recording so please go ahead we will continue people will join but recording will reach to at least 1000 people okay very pleasant good morning to friends and short wave listeners short wave listeners i thank you vilas ji for the nice introduction vilas ji i am getting echo from, from your side my side okay no i don't think so okay okay thank you thank okay. you okay thank you so so thanks vilas ji for the opportunity given to me Uh, to make a presentation for the third time for the pune hams uh, pune hams are doing a wonderful job every month uh, there is a program and uh, very very nice today i have some technical issue as a part of uh, smart city uh, in chennai they have laid underground uh, power cables and they removed the poles and uh, overhead lines yesterday in that process day before yesterday in that process they have I disrupted my internet connection totally. All the cables and the JB box are all lying on the road. Today, and I am using my mobile phone uh, with uh, hot uh, as a hot spot. I hope there will not be any buffering or interruptions in the video and as well as audio. So this is the uh, challenge I am facing. Anyway, I hope it will go through nicely. Uh, as uh, pointed out by vilas ji uh, we require uh, uh, a power supply for the uh, operation of our rig the first and the most preferred source is the battery if you have a car battery or a battery then it is fine the next choice is uh, switch mode power supply smps nowadays it is also becoming popular though it has got some inherent uh, disadvantages like uh, some of the uh, frequencies and uh, the content of uh, ripples and other things the third one is the uh, 
uh, linear power supply. So this is uh, next to battery, linear power supplies are preferred very much for ham radio operation. Uh, this tech presentation, what I am going to do is about Marchu 30 ampere power supply. It is not my own design or uh, uh, my uh, circuit design. There was an article by Nick Allen Rawlson mm -hmm. of uh, UK. He published uh, two parts about this uh, March power supply during the year 1983 in the practical wireless. So already our uh, Patnagar, our uh, Vilas ji has uh, published or uh, attached this entire article for the benefit of the viewers. So this is the this is designed and constructed by uh, Nick Allen and it is quite popular uh, worldwide. Many are using. The main advantage is uh, this is a type of fit and forget type of uh, power supply. Once we construct, test everything, then you know we need not worry. It has all protections and it will take care by itself. Now, let us see what are the major components or parts required for constructing a <coughs> macho the linear power supply unit. The first and the foremost is the transformer. This is the single costliest item. Now copper costs have gone up, so this is uh, the most costliest uh, part in the whole power supply. And we require about uh, 16 volts RMS secondary voltage. And uh, the amperage should be preferably around 42 amps, 40, 42 amps. Uh, when we want to draw about 30, 30 amperes, 40, 42 amps will be very ideal. So this will be little heavy and bulky. One of the disadvantages of linear power supplies is heaviness. Uh, SMPs are very, very light. Okay. The next part is the rectifier. We require a bridge rectifier of 35 amps. It is easily available. It is uh, not very expensive. 35 amperes rectifier. The third one is the filter capacitor bank. In this design, the author has used two numbers of 33,000 microfarad capacitors as the battery, uh, the capacitor bank. It should be rated for about 50 volts to 60 volts. Higher the voltage is always better. 50 volts to 60 volts, two numbers he has used. If we are using more uh, than uh, 66,000 MFD, it is also good. The other one is the control circuit board. To mount all the components, we need a control circuit board. In fact, when I constructed, I prepared a control circuit board and I constructed this uh, Marchu linear power supply for many of my friends. So I prepared a control circuit board, PCB, and it is available with me. If any of the viewer uh, wants to uh, construct the Marchu power supply, I'll be too happy to uh, give that, provide the <laughs> PCB. Then the next one is the series pass transistors. We require about uh, six numbers of uh, series pass transistors. As per the design, it is a uh, 2N3055, uh, but I have used 2N3663. So anything is okay. And in this case, uh, each, uh, each series pass transistor will handle about uh, five amperes. Then we require ICs, uh, thyristor, capacitors, resistors. ICs we require for the regulation and also for over voltage protection. Thyristor is used for tripping the power supply unit. The other capacitor resistors in the circuit are required. Then the next one is the temperature switch. There are two temperature switches employed in this uh, power supply unit. One is to take care of the total heat of the heat sink. So that should not exceed. So there is a temperature switch. And also in the startup, there is a uh, resistor to limit the interest current. So on top of this interest current resistor also, there is a temperature switch. Both these uh, uh, resistors are of a metal clad type. So this temperature switch can be easily mounted on the metal clad resistor. In the future, uh, in the subsequent slides, I'll be showing the arrangement as well. Then we need a good cooling fan. This cooling fan preferably should be on 
uh, 230 volts AC so that it can be independent of the power supply uh, supply from the power power supply unit. So cooling fan is required and the heat sink heat sink heat sink should be able to accommodate all the series pass transistor six num six numbers and it should be a heavy duty one. Then we require a cabinet to mount everything. Uh, in my presentation, I will be showing the my construction. Uh, we can see that later. There are a number of switches for switching on and off the AC power supply. Then to start the unit, we require a push to start switch. So we need a switch and LED indicators to show the healthy condition or high temperature, all that. And internally, all the high current uh, uh, wiring is done with the minimum four square mm. So four square mm wire should be used for low current area, ordinary wires can be used. Then for the series bus uh, transistors, we require sil pad, silicon pad or a, a mica insulation set we require. Uh, then high voltage resistors. There are some high voltage resistors. When we go into the circuit, I will explain the high voltage resistors in the emitter of the series pass transistors. Then we require a 24 volts relay. Single pole is okay because this is the one which is going to trip the power supply in case of any fault. So we require a 24 volts relay. Then digital panel meters. It is optional to have a digital voltmeter and a current meter to show the output voltage and also see the load current. So I have used the DPM for this purpose, which are mounted on the front panel. Then we require sockets for the power supply, DC output. So we can use the uh, 30 ampere variety of uh, uh, banana sockets. Then we, this is the power card, which is for the AC uh, supply. Then we require some transistors and diodes, uh, like a BC109 and the diodes, uh, uh, Zener diodes, 10 volts Zener diode, and uh, uh, 1916. All these things are required. And of course, the final one is the bolts and nuts and hardware. Now, these uh, items, if we are ready, then we can go in for construction of a uh, linear power supply. Okay. In this small tube power supply, there are protections uh, features incorporated. What are the uh, various um, uh, protections? One is the push to start. That means unless otherwise you press the push button, the unit will not deliver power. So this is the push, push to start switch. Then over voltage protection in case we will be using the unit at 13.8 volts. And in case the voltage exceeds, it will be detrimental to the transceiver. So we require a trip for the over voltage. Then over current. We have designed this unit for about 30 amperes. Normally the rigs will draw, uh, commercial rigs will draw about 20 amperes maximum. And in case the current increases due to some short circuit or some problem with the rig, then we require a protection against the uh, over current. The next one is the thermal trip. The thermal trip here is the uh, the heat uh, on that heat sink because when we are operating at higher voltage, all the series pass transistors will be uh, dissipating lot of uh, heat, and this heat is uh, goes to the heat sink, and it it is not expected to cross a particular uh, uh, beyond the limit. So we require a thermal trip. Then. There is one more protection, uh, which is uh, uh, very, very unique, uh, highlighted by the uh, author. It is impatient operator. If impatient operator means if there is a fault or if there is anything, the operator, if he keeps on trying to power up the unit, then it may result in some damage. To protect against that uh, impatient operator, the, op the author has uh, given a provision in his uh, circuit. <laughs> Now, what are the tests to be performed? Uh, in the month of August, I presented, a, I gave a tech talk about my uh, electronic load for uh, testing the, the load of a power supply. So like that, one is the output voltage needs to be checked. 
that is the first thing then we require stability of the voltage output voltage and then ripple content so these are all to be checked then current current delivering capacity that is the load test then high voltage trip protection this also we have to set in the unit so that when the output voltage exceeds a particular limit the unit will trip low voltage trip it is also given in the modified circuit not in the original circuit then over current trip that i already explained and the heat generation so we have to keep an eye and watch, watch these parameters uh, during operation of the power supply unit now this is the external view of my march power supply you can see this is the ac on off switch a toggle switch a rocker switch then this is the push button switch it has got a no contact once we press it will close contact and it will power up the uh, power supply unit there are two led indications one is a dc on one another one is to indicate fault if there is a fault this light will glow and indicate the unit has tripped due to some fault then there are two digital panel meters one is for seeing the voltage and the other one for the current then this is uh, given positive negative so for uh, some of the uh, rigs equipment which doesn't require high current you can take easily output from this and this is the major uh, 30 ampere rating uh, socket from which we have to take the output 13.8 volts so this is the external view of the uh, power supply constructed by me now this is the rear side of the power supply you can see number of uh, six numbers of uh, 2n3773 series power uh, transistors all are mounted uh, with uh, the uh, mica protection insulation protection in fact i have used the silk pad here so that uh, gives the uh, insulation between the a transistor body and the heat sink and in this there is a fuse on the ac side and this is the ac power cord so the, the whole heat sink this is the whole heat sink which is uh, uh, fixed using bolts and nuts on the rear side of the cabinet now this is the top view of the power supply unit the main power supply unit which contains uh, the circuitry is uh, in this part and you can see the heat sink has been deliberately mounted outside on the rear side of the cabinet with the spacers this is because if we keep the heat sink inside it may not get enough ventilation so that is the idea why i have constructed if we see go through the other uh, article it will be a little different here i have used my idea and in between there is a fan here cooling fan and this cooling fan will be uh, forcing air to cool the heat sink so this is the arrangement uh, of the uh, heat sink and the cooling now now we are coming to the internal view of the power supply unit so everything is very very clear this is the main transformer the main transformer then we have the bridge rectifier here 35 ampere bridge rectifier and these are the two capacitors uh, 33000 amp of the capacitors on top of it i have put a bleeder resistor also and here one thing is uh, it is always preferable to use uh, short wires short wires so that uh, uh, the current uh, the, the drop will be very very less so always better use short wires now this is the main pcb this pcb made by me it contains all the ic's and also the uh, various uh, uh, variable resistors to set the voltage to set the current limit to set the uh, over voltage drip and all that so all that uh, adjustments are here and all the uh, resistors are uh, resistors capacitors and uh, zeners are all in this board now here i have used a small uh, uh, transformer and also a power supply which provides isolated power for my digital panel meter to be on the safe side i have used a separate uh, dc voltage this is not shown in the 
original uh, circuit because I have added digital panel meter and also digital uh, current meter. So this is uh, uh, this is actually a made as a separate uh, arrangement. Now there are number of wires. These number of wires are all coming from the transistors, uh, the series pass transistors here to the circuit. So this is the internal view. This is another uh, view of the same internal arrangement, which shows the cooling fan also. This is the cooling fan, 230 volts, and it is uh, uh, pushing air to, the, to cool the heat sink. And the rest of it I have already explained. Now this shows the unit in power down condition. So this is an illuminated uh, rocker switch. So it is uh, uh, showing that AC is on and it, this uh, LED shows that the DC is on. And uh, the, the digital panel meters are showing the values. Now this is the PCB, which I have designed and I am using it. This is also as per the made as per the article. So you can see all the components, everything in this PCB. This is the uh, front end of the control circuit, front end of the circuit. Here, this is the AC mains. Line neutral is there. There is also a F. F is a must. So the chassis of the power supply unit should be connected to proper F. And this is the mains filter, EMI filter. So this will eliminate any interference. Uh, we can use uh, removed uh, filter from any SMPS. So that can be used. And this is a uh, two pole switch, which uh, switches on the main power, phase and neutral. And there is a pilot lamp, which will indicate the presence of the uh, mains voltage, 230 volts. Here we are using a, a fuse, protection fuse of five amps rating, five amps rating. Then this is the cooling fan. We can have a manual switch or we can have an automatic uh, temperature arrangement so that the fan will run. It is preferable to run the fan continuously. Now, the neutral, uh, the neutral is coming directly to the one end of the primary of the transformer, whereas the uh, phase is coming to the uh, other side of the primary through a relay contact. And if you see here, there is a parallel connection the parallel connection, there is a switch. This is the push to start switch. And also there is a temperature switch, which is set for 70 degrees. And also there is a series regulator, a series resistance, 50 ohms resistance. This is a metal clad resistance, which it should take care of higher current, in rush current. So when we switch on the unit, uh, and when we press this switch, the uh, voltage will be going to the primary. Then secondary will develop the AC and then we are having the bridge rectifier which will give positive and negative voltage. And here there is a bleeder resistor and also these two uh, 33,000 MFT capacitors are there, which are, these are the smoothing capacitors. So I will uh, give more details about this uh, relay contact little later. So to power on the unit, once we power on the AC, then we have to press this uh, uh, switch to start the unit. Then only the power, the power will be fed to the primary through the close contact of the temperature switch and through the inrush resistor. This inrush resistor will, uh, you know, um, take care of the, uh, the higher current. Mm -hmm. So this is the function of the front end. So then let us go to the next part. Earlier I said metal clad resistors are used in the for the inrush current and also for the uh, heat sink. So this picture shows the mounting arrangement of the temperature switch on the metal clad resistor. This is the metal clad resistor and the temperature switch is mounted on this and the contact is taken to the circuit. So this is uh, um, this was published in the article. Now this is actually the outline of the protection circuit. 
Actually, we are going to see the entire circuit in the next slide. Before that, one should understand what is the, uh, the, uh, the outline of the whole uh, uh, design. Now, in this uh, red line, I have indicated LM723, which is the regulator IC. So, what are all the transistors shown? It is within the LM723 IC. So, these are the various pins 11 and 12, 10, 2, 3, 6, 13, and all. These are all the uh, pins of the LM723. It also gets the power supply. Then, these are all the external components. External components. This is one uh, 3055 transistor, and also there are six transistors of this, this TR3. There are six transistors. For simplicity, I have shown only one transistor. So all these uh, transistors are connected in parallel, in parallel. So collector will be connected to the collector, base will be connected to the base, and the emitter will be like that. So it will all share that total current. That is the idea of the paralleling. In the first transistor, in the emitter, we are having this high voltage resistor. We are having two numbers of 0.22 ohms, uh, 5 watts resistor. So totally, it will be 10 watts and effectively resistance wise, it will be 0.11 ohm. So when the current is uh, passed through this, there will be some voltage developed across this uh, low value resistor, uh, wire wound resistor. And this voltage is taken as the feedback. Now, <clears throat> there are two transistors within the uh, 723. One is the TRA and TRB. And also the 723 gives a, a reference voltage of 7 volts. 7 volts in the pin 6. So that voltage is also available. So this regulate this IC is taking care of the complete regulation and also over current and over uh, volt uh, over current and uh, the uh, the temperature. So this is the arrangement. Here there is a temperature switch. This temperature switch uh, set at 75 degrees is uh, mounted on the heat sink, and this takes care of the excessive temperature on the heat sink. And uh, in this, there is a resistor 220 ohms and also a transistor BC109. Now, coming to this, uh, this part of the circuit. Now, when the voltage across this uh, sensor resistor, 0.11 ohm, is uh, large, if it is large enough, then you know it will turn on TR1. When TR1 is uh, turned on, it will progressively uh, turn off TRB, TRB and it will control the uh, current. LM723 by, by itself, it can handle only about uh, 150 milliampere. So we require a current amplification. So there is a transistor. And from this emitter, it goes to the other uh, all series pass transistors. So that is the arrangement. So uh, this arrangement, uh, when it is increasing and then immediately it is controlling the, uh, the, the current, limiting the current is known as actually a fold back arrangement, fold back arrangement. Now, if the load, the load connected between the regulated output and the ground, uh, it, it falls uh, less than about uh, seven volts, seven volts, then what happens, this, uh, this diode, uh, 1914, it starts conducting because this is at the 7 volts and when the output voltage is uh, reducing, then immediately this will start conducting and it will uh, it will uh, turn on TRA uh, transistor and it will sh shut off the regulator completely. In this condition, the regulator is uh, latched in the off condition, off state. So this is the arrangement here. And uh, if the external load uh, is uh, removed, then 1K resistor here will, uh, will be able to raise the voltage to high enough for the transistor, uh, uh, for the diode 914 to contact and reverse bias this, reverse bias this TRA. So again, it is uh, able to uh, either uh, completely 
uh, reduce the voltage to a lower value. So this is the main part of the circuit for the current regulation. Then here we are having the temperature switch and uh, when the temperature increases, the, uh, the value of this resistance comes down. It will come down to uh, around uh, 100 ohms. 100 ohms. Once it comes down, then this transistor BC109 uh, will uh, turn and it will again shut the unit. So this is the temperature switch arrangement and also the current uh, control circuit. Okay, now I am going to the main control circuit, which shows the regulator, uh, which shows the, the temperature switch here. And these are all the series pass transistors here. And this is actually the over voltage trip. So the over voltage trip is executed by MC3423 IC. It is an 8 pin IC. This IC is uh, getting the set voltage. There is a potential divider. And through this uh, R26 or 1K, we are setting the desired uh, voltage at which the unit should trip. So that arrangement is there. So what happens? As this IC is monitoring continuously the uh, output voltage, and when the output voltage exceeds the set value, then immediately it gives output from pin A, and this goes to the thyristor BT152. Once it goes, uh, then you know um, it it triggers the uh, thyristor, and thyristor will immediately short circuit and here there is a 2.2 ohms and in that process this relay will totally get uh, shorted and it will de-energize. This is the coil of the relay. This is the 24 volts relay which you are using for the uh, protection. So this is the 24 volts relay which gets the supply positive and also negative. So uh, when this uh, triac is uh, not in triggered condition, this relay will be in healthy condition. When that triac um, BC1 BT152 triggers, it will short circuit and the relay will de-energize. In the previous circuit, uh, I showed a relay uh, in the uh, yes, this is that relay contact RL1. So what happens when the relay once we energize the unit? And if the DC is developed, and if the relay energizes, 24 volts relay energizes, this will this contact will close. Then even if we remove this S3, which is a push to close, so even if we release, the power supply will continue to flow through the relay contact, and the unit will be in energized condition. But what happens when there is a trip? Then the relay de-energizes, and this contact will open. Once it go, opens, this is already in open condition, so the unit will not deliver power. AC will not go to the bridge rectifier. That is how the trip is getting actuated. Again, you know, if we have to rectify the fault, maybe the temperature or the over voltage or whatever it is, then again, only when we press this switch, the, the supply will be given through the interest resistor and the unit will Again, energize and the relay will energize and this contact will close. This is a self folding contact of the 24 volts relay, which I have shown. Okay, this is the relay. So, this is the over voltage uh, uh, trip. And for over current, we are having a uh, over, over current, we are having another uh, setting which is uh, setting the uh, over voltage, decide over voltage, and this is uh, actually voltage set. Uh, if you want to set this uh, R24 1K, is responsible for setting the decide voltage 13.8 or 13.5, whatever it is. And this is actually the over voltage trip uh, variable resistor. So these are all the various uh, controls in this circuit, and uh, this is the positive and output uh, negative. Now, uh, I have uh, taken a certain um, 
videos uh, to you know uh, save time um, so uh, actually making a practical uh, demo is difficult so already i have uh, taken video the first uh, video is about the work output voltage adjustment as i said we need to set the voltage uh, to 13.8 now let us see uh, how the output voltage is set the the control for that is inside so we have to put a screwdriver in the slot and slowly adjust and by just seeing the output this video let us see how to switch on cord on the module power supply and how to adjust the output voltage first let me switch on the ac mains ac mains is on now this is the push button to start once we press it then the output will be available now it is showing higher voltage so it is showing about 13.9 and uh, if we see internally there are uh, potential meters available in the pcb so this is the control circuit pcb there are three potential meters so i am uh, going to adjust the voltage potential meter It's a little uh, tricky. Now, if I, if I decrease, the voltage will come down. So, I can set it by adjusting this slowly to 13.8, which is the desired uh, voltage. Increasing slowly, very slowly. Very slowly. Is coming up, coming up. Yes. It is showing 13.8. Okay. Uh, friends here, <laughs> uh, I was actually holding my mobile phone and taking the video. So there was no help. That's why there, there is some slight shake and also I could not show it perfectly. Anyway, I think you would have got an idea how the screwdriver is inserted and the voltage is adjusted. Mm. So now this is the next demo, which shows the over voltage trip. When the voltage exceeds, how the voltage uh, over voltage trip acts. So that we are going to see in the form of a video. I am going to demonstrate over voltage drip. I have connected a digital voltmeter at the output of the power supply unit. Both units are showing 13.8. Now I am going to deliberately increase the output voltage. I have set the over voltage drip at 14.3. Let me increase the voltage. Now it is increasing. It has come to 14. 14.3. Fourteen point one, fourteen point two. Still, I'm increasing. Yes, at fourteen point three, it has stripped. If I try to reset, it will not reset because the voltage has to be again brought back. So it is not uh, the output is not the unit is not delivering output. Okay. That shows the uh, that video shows the how to how the uh, over voltage trip is working. This is the last video which is going to show the over current trip. It is again a demo. Here I have used my electronic load connected to the unit, and uh, I attempted to set around 20 ampere, 20 ampere for the high current trip. So here, uh, this is the amps and this is the voltmeter and uh, current meter of my um, electronic load. So in this uh, video, you can see this control will be slowly adjusted and the current will increase. And at a particular point, the unit will trip. The unit will trip. So that is the over current. If we require a higher current, then um, we have to change the setting. 
and uh, it is very difficult to connect uh, some loads like uh, resistors heating coils and all but the electronic load will be uh, will be ideal for uh, setting repeatedly also we can do it without any hazard so that is a major advantage and just by rotating the knob we can uh, set it to the desired value so, so every time we have to adjust internally the over voltage current uh, adjustment on the pcb and then try so here i have already set and i have taken a video so let now let us go into the video Okay, so you would have seen around uh, 20 amperes, um, it is uh, tripping and uh, this is the over current uh, trip. So we have come to the end of the presentation and uh, if there are any questions, I'll be too happy to, uh, uh, you know, explain and uh, explain and uh, uh, there is some effort. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So okay. Thank you. Thank you. For this <coughs> wonderful presentation.